Hey guys, what is going on? It is Lore here, back with another video, and as you can see, I have Photoshop up and running, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a YouTube profile picture. So with that said, let's go over to File, New. We're going to make the width 500 pixels and the height 500 pixels as well, and then the background contents are going to be transparent. And once you have that done, go ahead and click OK. Now that we have our little canvas here, we're going to go over to the gradient tool, go up to this gradient box, and we're just going to create our colors. Um, I'm going to go for something a little different. No, nope. change that, delete, okay. Go ahead and mess around with that, and once you have that done, you're going to drag and click. That looks pretty good. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your ellipse tool, making sure that it's on ellipse and not any of these other options here. You're going to want to hold down shift and drag the circle. Now going over here, we don't want to fill for this because you're not going to see anything in the middle and you won't see the background. So we're going to change that to no fill. But for the border here, we're going to change it to um, a color, and then I'm going to change it to white. And then I'm going to make the size, um, yeah, 30. That looks good. I'm going to center this. And next, what you're going to want to do is right here, right click on ellipse, go to blending options. Now we're going to check bevel and emboss. I'm going to have the depth be 100%, the size is going to be 15, and I'm going to keep the soften to 0 and leave it like that. Next I'm going to add a drop shadow. I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger for the size. So for the size I'm going to do 50, the spread is going to be 50, and then I did the distance as 0, and then you can leave it as that. Oh, and the opacity is going to be 100%. Okay. Now, click OK. Next, you're going to want to go to the text tool. Drag that up. Pick a font. It's going to differ um, with the text size, of course, um, because every text is different, so you'll have to mess around with the, um, the size and stuff. But then, once you got that figured out, Go ahead and type in your initials. And we're going to make sure that this is centered. Now we're going to go to the... Ooh, I don't know why that's... Oh, you won't see that anyway. Oh, well. I know it says... I know it says ass right there, okay? It's not supposed to say that, but... <laughs> okay, let me change that real quick. Hold on. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I put in an extra S. Okay. Right-click on the text. Go to Blending Options. We're going to do a bevel and emboss, but we're going to change the settings here a little bit. We're going to make the depth um, a little more crisp, so we're going to change it to 500. We're going to make the size we're going to leave, I guess, at 15 pixels, and then we're going to soften it. Um... No, we can leave it as is. Don't soften it, just leave it at zero. And then go ahead and do a drop shadow. But for this drop shadow, I'm going to change it down. So I'm going to do the size at 25. And I'll leave the spread at 50. Now, you have a choice whether to um, color the text if you want or leave it as is. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to show you what it would look like with a color. You obviously can choose whatever color you want. But I kind of like this deep purple color. It looks pretty cool. I'm just going to double check and make sure that this is centered correctly. Alright. That looks good, you guys. We got the um, gradient background. We got the 
the lips, circle, and the text centered, and it looks pretty good, you guys. Well, that's about it for this tutorial. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you did like this tutorial, make sure to give it a, a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the very next video. Thanks, guys, for watching.